turn on a low heat and that would all stew down. That looks good. It smells good. Now, the way I'm going to do this, I'm going to put all of this into the blender. I have, I put a scoop of sugar in here, probably one, um, one third cup of, of, of uh, sugar, just to taste. You taste it and make sure it's flavored the way that you would like it to be flavored. And, um, we're going to send it to the blender, then put it back in the pot. Just took it off the blender. I mean, off the, the machine. That's what it looks like now. Pour it back into the... That's how we get our sauce. But all the herbs and spices and that goes in with it. Let me get the light so you can see it better. I don't know if that helped any, but we're going to give it a taste. See if we need anything else in it. That tastes wonderful. I'm going to start cooking the meat. And then I, this is my sauce. My spaghetti sauce. I've added my meat to my spaghetti sauce. Now, what I did add to this, to my meat when I was cooking, well, after I poured my meat in there, I did put a pack of taco seasoning and a pack of spaghetti seasoning. Uh, the little packs you get uh, from the store. And um, I don't know if I showed the, the scoop of sugar, but I think I told you about that already. But I will show you the packs of seasoning that I'm talking about. Um, the, this is it. The taco seasoning and the spaghetti seasonings you get on the spaghetti aisle. And this is what it looks like. So I guess you would call this semi-homemade spaghetti sauce. Well, the spaghetti sauce was made from scratch. That's just some seasoning to put in it to give it a little bit more flavor. I like a lot of flavor. And this is very, this is how you do it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that everything button. And I see all you beautiful people on the next video. There's my spaghetti, but this is your main thing that makes it taste good. Thank you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button.